Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. You were missing yesterday. A couple I was. Of videos. Yes, I was. You went. You went on a very uh, long walk. Yeah, which I'm paying for now. She is. Uh, Somehow knocked my back out. Oh no. You know that. Why are you going? Oh no. Because I want them to go. Oh no. Oh yeah. Everybody say it. Oh no. I didn't hear anything. Okay, so speaking of oh no, speaking of oh no, what could possibly go wrong with J.J. Abrams producing a Superman movie written by Ta-Nehisi Coates? Ta-Nehisi Coates is a, I guess, a controversial comic book writer who is also a very proud far left activist. Right, but what you know? And but besides that, how come Abrams is all Abrams is doing is rebooting everything? Re 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 re. Like reboot. we got him on Star Wars, on Star Trek, on this. Like all he's doing is, is is like redoing things that exist. Like you notice this? Yeah. Does J.J. Abrams create anything original? Even his original stuff, he's basically ripping off Steven Spielberg. Yeah. So it's like, does he make anything original anymore? I don't think so. They're, well, Warner Brothers is paying him big bucks to come in and, and, and uh, ruin, ruin. ruin the DCEU. So that means Henry Cavill's probably out the door. There were, they were talking about uh, casting a black Superman, Michael B. Jordan. Well, this has been, they've been talking about this for a while. Yeah, it was Michael B. Jordan they were talking about uh, from, from Black Panther. Um, you know, I, 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 why is it? That they, they that Hollywood seems to think that the only way to have superheroes that are are, are going to perform that aren't white is to take a white superhero and make them a different different race, gender, sexual orientation, or whatever. You know what? Because you know it's not like you don't have a bunch of heroes that are already diverse that you could use. You know, oddly enough, we were just reading this morning about Blade, which I freaking love. It's one of my favorite. Oh, you mean the, the 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 black superhero movies that didn't happen until one of the black Super Black Panther. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, one of the black superhero movies that was never made. They cut Wesley Snipes out of the uh, Blade reboot completely. Like they didn't, yeah. they could have made him Whistler, you know, or something. They could have done something to get him in there. So he's going to go create his own Blade-like movie Yeah. to stick it to Disney. And I say bravo, because that's the, that was a narrative too with Black Panther. Now, I, I personally, I like Black Panther. Mm -hmm. I did, and, a lot know, of people we, did. A lot of people like Black um, Panther. I liked it. Uh, I also like The Lion King, so that yeah, probably explains a lot. But I did like Black Panther. And, um, you know, it was weird, though, because you saw Disney, this this marketing push. They were like, it's the first Black-led superhero movie ever. But it's it like, wasn't. You lied. We had Blade. We had Spawn. Hell, we had Steel. God, I hope this doesn't turn into another Steel. But I'm just saying. Anyway, um... That's neither here nor there. Uh, the, the trend right now is to take existing characters and race swap them. And it was interesting because, you know, I did the video the other day talking about Superman and Lois and how they actually pushed back against one of the writers who said, we're not going to race swap Clark's parents. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so I'm, I'm getting the vibe. That it's like, no, we're not going to race swap Clark's parents because we're going to race swap Superman in the next movie. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> so I'm just tired of it. I'm just so tired of it. Um you know, that you keep seeing this over and over and over again. And it's like, it's insulting too. I mean, basically you're telling downs. people, yeah, is it, you're good enough for hand-me-down characters, but you know, we don't believe that it, we can create new characters or use existing characters that are already diverse that are going to do well. Instead, we're just going to take ones that, you know, are already well known and change everything about them. And then it's not going to do well. And then they're going to be like, it's because you're all racist and you're all istophobe, racist, whatever. That's exactly what's going to happen. You already know that the narrative is going to... Now, it could... You know, surprisingly, we could have Todd Nahisi Coates uh, write a movie about a, a, a white Superman. That could potentially happen. I, I doubt it. Highly unlikely, but it could happen. Um, but even if that is the case, we're going to talk about him. He's He's got a lot of hot takes, political hot takes. He injects his politics into every book. Because, you he know, writes. that's what everybody wants is more politics. So Superman's going to get really, really political and really, really woke, guys. Regardless of whether Superman is black or white, there are definitely going to be some politics, given who's attached to it. So Superman Lois might be the last hurrah for actual uh, actual trying Superman. trying to ruin that, too. So. Yeah, so before we get into it any further, we've already gotten into it pretty far. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're almost, probably by the time this goes up, we'll be at 180,000 or close to it. We're like 100 away. 
Well, see, so, you, so, you didn't even have to do that at this point. I didn't. You could, you could have done, it, done without it for one video. I could have done without it. But, but you know, you, I, I want to remind people. Of course I have people. it. Because you need to say it so you feel better about yourself. I do. Maybe I'm OCD or something. So, yeah. Well, you um, are OCD. So that's probably what it is. Anyway. I am OCD. I go downstairs and I check I check uh, to make sure that the gas is off in the stove and, and the doors do are again. locked. He'll walk away and he'll be like, wait, are I sure? And he'll go back and do it again. Well, okay. In my defense... In my defense, our gas stove is by the back door. And people, as they walk out the back door, sometimes brush against it with a coat or something, and the knobs turn on. Which and we, has happened once. We have, it's happened a couple of times. We, so one time we were like hours away and we came back to the house and the gas had been on uh, all day. And thank God, you know, it didn't blow the house up. So yeah, I'm a little weird about it. It's like one of those things where it's kind of like a Lemony Snicket, Series of Unfortunate Events. They have the ant who is always worried about all this stuff going wrong. And it turns out she's right about everything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, oh, I'm always oh, yeah. worried about something. But it turns out you're right about everything. It turns out I'm right. Not and always. and and I'm right about <laughs> this movie. This movie is going to be a disaster. Uh, it's, Disclaimer, he's not right about everything. I'm right about most things. There you go. I have a 75% accuracy rate. I don't know. I never did the math because I don't like math. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, I think a lot of people... Reading who's attached to this movie, a lot of people are in agreement that this movie is probably going to be a disaster. I'm in agreement it's probably going to be. It's not the choice I'd make. But anyway, go ahead. So that means Cavill's probably out, or this could... But he was already going to be out anyway. They've been saying for a while. Yeah. This is no surprise. Shocker. Um, Coming from Deadline, then we're going to go out to, to uh, Bounding in the Comics. It talks more about Tom Nahisi Coates, who, again, very political comic book artist. That's what everyone wants. More politics. Uh, Superman reboot in the works at Warner Brothers with Tanya Hesey Coates writing, J.J. Abrams producing. Um, yeah, so Deadline has confirmed that author Tanya Hesey Coates is writing a Superman reboot feature for Warner Brothers, which J.J. Abrams is producing under his Bad Robot label. Uh, Hannah Mangella will serve as producer. No plot yet, no attachments, despite the fact that we've heard how Henry Cavill is eager to get back into the cape. Well, well hopefully that's... he will, but they're, they've been saying for a while they're going to probably get rid of him. Yeah. As the national correspondent for The Atlantic, Coates covered cultural, social, and political issues, specifically that of African Americans and white supremacy. Right, there's no agenda here at all. His 2014 cover story for that publication, The Case for Reparations, started a national conversation the on case the case reparations. I don't, I'm not even going to go there. Uh, he won a bunch of awards for that. He's written for The Village, Voice. Reparations, even though most of you weren't even here then and weren't from slaves. But whatever. Continue. Uh, <laughs> Time, New York Magazine, Washington Post, all of the, the very kind of far left um, uh, outlets. So he was a journalist. He was an activist turned journalist. So he's journalist. an activist journalist and now he gets to be a writer. Because he wrote some because... comic books, yes. Well, well, right, because that makes total sense. Because, you know, we've seen that. I mean, seriously, it makes total sense. We've seen them going around, find people that are activists to write stuff instead of writing people, people who actually, you know, are good at writing stories. Yeah. Um, this is basically everything wrong with Hollywood current year is people get attention for their social media presences or for being an activist or something. And then they jump into entertainment. And it's edutainment because they're coming into it with a, a, a political bent. Okay, so he wrote these series for Marvel. Did, did they sell well? Were they well done? Uh, I, I, well, we're going to go out to Bounding in the comics. Some because of them like, did and some of them didn't. Because if they did, then, you know, okay, fine. Because, I mean, this, you know, to the, he might be a really good writer. I mean, I, I honestly don't read them, so I don't know. Uh, but I, I'm just like, so I don't want to say he's not just because of that. But Well, he wrote uh, Black Panther. He wrote Captain America, which got very political. Um, they gave him a shout out in Avengers Infinity War. Uh, they talk about it. So they're still saying they think Henry Cavill might be attached. Um, I am hearing from other sources that there was talk of recasting Superman as a black dude. Um, that, yeah, they were talking about it before. Yeah, Michael I B. Jordan. That. So I, I don't know. I, I, maybe it depends on how the Justice League movie goes. If Justice League, uh, the, the Zack Snyder cut goes over really well, maybe Henry Cavill would be like, yeah, I'm, I'm down with doing this again. But of course... I, I can almost guarantee the plot of this movie will be Superman tackles white supremacy. Superman versus space Nazis or something. I can't even. It's, it's going to be. Cause, because, like, you know, because, you know, Hollywood says so. Everybody's white supremacist. Yeah, yeah. So, bounding in the comics, they kind of broke down um, Ta-Nehisi Coates and his activism, which, uh, look, this isn't anything that's being hidden. The guy was a journalist, and then he did a lot of, uh, uh, you know, articles dealing with race and critical race theory and all of that. And then he wound up writing comic books because that's what they want. That makes sense. That's right? what they yeah. want. 
Uh, he's an activist. Um, they talked about the, uh, you know, here's, here's Superman when he still loved America. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, they, he doesn't even say truth, justice in the American way anymore. I noticed in a couple of the movies, they make sure they cut away from that. It's like truth, justice, and all that, or truth, ju- you know, because we can't, we can't offend uh, people anymore with uh, truth, justice in the American way. So let's see here. Coates is not just a left-wing activist, according to Bounding in the Comics. He's a radical left-wing activist who has made his views about America very clear in opinion pieces in the well, Atlantic. he writes in the Atlantic. It's all we need to know, honestly. But yeah. yeah. In the article, uh, Donald Trump is out. Are we ready to talk about how he got in? Coates publishes an excerpt of a previous article titled The First White President. In the excerpt, he describes Donald Trump as a white supremacist. Anyway, so that is Ta-Nehisi Coates' opinion in the Atlantic. Uh, guys writing uh, Black Panther and, uh, you know, uh, he was writing Captain America, which was kind of a self-loathing Captain America from what I understand. Uh, we had Steve Rogers questioning his white privilege in Captain America. Of course he is, um, even though that, you know, wouldn't have happened then, but okay. Yeah, and and uh, all of that, you know. So now the guy's going to, he's going to write Superman, which is historically has been an American Icon created by a couple of Jewish guys, by the way. Mm-hmm. A couple of Jewish teenagers created an American, very pro-American icon, just like Captain America, very pro-American character. Um, so I, I, what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly I go just, wrong? I don't know. I, I think, just think this is not going to go. And then they're, then they're going to lose money. Because yeah. if you get people are tired of being preached at, that's why they're turning their backs on this stuff. Because um, I don't care which way you vote, majority of people are not extremists on either end, and they're just in the middle wanting entertainment, and they're tired of being told you're, so you're, you have to be this way or you're a bad person, you have to be that way or you're a bad person. They're just tired of it. They don't want to even hear. It. They just want to go watch a good movie because they want to watch a movie and have some fun. And if you constantly just you know beat people over the head with your your uh, you know activism, it's not it's not going to go the way you think. People don't want that. They just want to be entertained. And then what's going to happen is exactly what happens every other time. You're a racist. You're, uh, you know, it's the, the, the Yahtzees are are telling people not to go see the Superman movie that runs down America because it's written right. by an activist. Right, you know, a lot of people still believe in America, uh, whether you agree or not, that's fine. But there's some people who do, and they, they believe in these, these, these superheroes give them hope. And they look to these heroes um, for a good story and for, you know, a good message. And if you're, you're not saying their message is bad, but if it's going to be about, you know, Everybody, half the country is shit because of this, or half the, and you're, it usually it was united. America was united for some reason or other. Now it's like everything's trying to be divisionary, and I think that's a problem. I think there's too much divisionary, not enough uniting, and this is just going to be more. I'm hoping it's not. It's because he's written those other pieces doesn't mean that's the case. But given what you're showing me on stuff he's written that are common, form, yeah, it's a little concerning. I have concerns. I'm not. You know, look, I'm not going to just. I have concerns. Uh, it does seem like he uses the platform to espouse strong political ideology and Superman is as American as apple pie and it is a great platform to take Superman which is an American icon and have him spout off activist stuff because you've got the you've got the megaphone now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's totally what's going to happen. I mean, it's, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Prove me wrong, but I don't think that's I'm hoping that's you're gonna... wrong because it, I mean, it's getting tiresome. It's like can we move past this now? It's like, it's really getting, it really getting tiresome. And it's like, you know, and then and this whole idea that keeps saying about wanting more, we don't want to, we don't want to take chairs away from the table. We just want to add more chairs to the table. No, you don't. You want to add more chairs. You want to add, bring chairs to the table, but, you, but most of it's just you kicking out people that are already there to put new people in and characters that have been one way forever to like, you know, Little Mermaid, for example, which now is going to have more wrapping. We're going to talk about that in a separate video. I know, but More I'm just rapping saying, it's, in the Little Mermaid. And it's like, yeah. you know, it's fine if we... And I'm thinking it's also kind of a disservice to people that are minorities because basically all you're telling them is you aren't, you aren't enough. You aren't enough to have a new character. Your characters, the characters that are based on people like, you know, you or who you might... who Because everybody has to identify with who they are. You can't represent somebody you're not. And how can he write White Superman when he's not white? You know, so there you go there too. But if you could only relate to characters that are like you, they have characters that are like these people they want to, they're claiming they want to represent. Why do they keep taking white characters and, and changing them? It's kind of like, it's kind of like shit on many levels. It's, 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 it's really insulting. Yeah. Meanwhile. To, to, to those people, I think. 
It is. It is. Uh, I'd be insulted. Yeah. I mean, there are tons of black superhero characters yes, out there that, that are uh, good ones too. Where's the Static Shock movie? I guess they're working on they're working on a Static movie. But I'm, I'm just like, saying. It's like I mean, how insulting is that? That you know, you only get like the hand me down characters because they don't believe that uh, new characters could pull it on their own without, unless they they were already pre existing ones. Well, that's what they're doing in the comic books too. They're like, we need a new demographic. So instead of taking a chance and creating new characters and marketing them, you know, successfully or just creating compelling characters, we're gonna we're gonna kick out the uh, the old white guys and bring in. Yeah, and then, gender then people swap, complain, yeah. you know, or race swap counterparts, yeah. and that's basically the same character though. It's just like, oh, we changed the name, made it a woman. So what? It's basically so what? still, you know. You've pissed off the old fans and you haven't successfully brought in a new audience anyway. Uh, so you're better off keeping the old fans happy and, and being additive, bringing new characters in organically than booting out the old characters. But they have so many really good characters that aren't white, straight, and male. Why aren't they just doing using those characters for films? Because Superman is bankable. The Superman brand. This is the thing. Well, These fine. characters make Superman a background character in one of these other people's movies, and then make but make them the main character of their own film. Well, they brought the Dakota verse, the Static Shock, Mile, uh, you know, Milestone Comics. They brought that into the main DC universe. So yeah, put Superman. Well, they did that in Shazam. They kind of put him as. That's a background. what I'm saying. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. that. that that movie was great. It really does diversity right, and it and and it was really 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 well done. Um, and he was a background character. You didn't even see him, really. It well, you worked. literally didn't see him. They cut his face right. off. because it no, worked. Yeah, it did work. It worked. That's they what referenced I'm him throughout the whole movie. You can reference him or have him in as a cameo. You don't need you don't need it to be about him. You know what I'm saying? You have all these, all these amazing characters you can bring to the forefront. Do do a static movie, since static is part of the, the DCEU now, I, I guess, and, and have Superman be like the Tony Stark character or something. I don't know. I mean, you know, there are a lot of things you can do. But yeah, they know Superman's bankable. It's, again, it's... It a, was. It's not going to be when they mess, no. like, they mess with it too much. It's, again, it's about the platform and activists want the biggest megaphone. They want the biggest platform. So... You know, again, just armchair opinion. Uh, Ta Nehisi Coates is jumping from platform to platform. We start well, with we this blog. This. We go to a bigger publication, a bigger publication. Now we're doing comics. Now we're making sure that we're doing the most iconic characters. So we've got a bigger. Now we're going to do the most, the most iconic superhero of all time. Uh, I'm in charge of that now. So I've got the biggest microphone. You know, the biggest megaphone. And that's what this is about. So well, it doesn't do well. They're going to yell racism. That's exactly what's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen. Just make an entertaining movie, dude. That's all you have to do. Yeah. And you can still get some of your messages in there as long as you're not like hitting people over the head with them and making it ridiculous. And and as long as it's a good story and it stays close to the character, then you're fine. And he might do that, but from what I'm seeing, I doubt no. that highly. No, I, I don't think I don't think so. But we'll see. We will see. We will see what happens. But what could possibly go wrong with J.J. Abrams and Ta Nehisi Coates teaming up on Superman? Uh, everything, <laughs> everything could go wrong. We got to wrap this one up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.